In this video, we will show you how to create a course, how to add modules to a course, and how to add sections to a module. Before we learn how to create a course, let's have a look at a typical course. Each course has its own tabs, such as its own news area, calendar, resources, games, collaboration tools, and more. In the right bar, you can find listed leaderboards if the course has any games, to-do items, announcements, and upcoming events. The default landing page of a course is usually the modules area. Modules can be reordered using drag and drop. Each module can have its own picture and description. You can see all the sections for each module by clicking the Show Sections button in the top right. A module is comprised of sections, which can be content pages, assessments, and SCORM packages. Each module can be aligned with proficiencies in a curriculum, and instructors can track learner progress on a proficiency basis. Modules have a completion tab where you can define rules that should be performed upon completion. For example, awarding badges, points, sending canned messages, and more. Let's go into a content page. Content pages are created using our built-in HTML editor and have their own completion tab and resources area. Now you have a basic understanding of what you can find in a course. Let's go ahead and create a new course. The first step is to go to the Courses menu and click Add. A pop-up will open with a list of options. You can either add a new course, an existing one, a template, or a path. Let's click on Course. A new pop-up will open. Give your course a name. Select the style of the course, which can be instructor, self-paced, or blended. Select if you want your course to have an access code and complete the duration of the course. In the Options tab, you can set options for language, time zone, course, section, and credits. After you're done with all the options, click Save. The new course was added. The next step is to configure the course. Go to the Admin tab, then click Configure. The first thing you should do is to change the default picture of the course. Click on Change Picture. Then upload a picture from your computer. And click Save. Here you can also configure your options for the course landing page, tabs, modules, enrollments, and more. These options are discussed in more detail in a separate video. Now let's add a module to the course. Go to the Modules tab, then click Add from the top right. Here you have two options. You can add a new module or select an existing one. Click on New. Give a name to the module, add a description, set an optional date, then click Save. To configure the module, use the icons on the right side of the page. You can change the picture, edit the title and description. Let's change the default picture of the module. Click on the picture icon, upload a picture from your computer, then click Save. Now let's add a content page to the module. Click on Page, enter the title and the content of the page. You can add any kind of media, including audio, video, office documents, and Google Docs. To add a picture, click the picture icon. Upload the picture, then click Save. To add a file, click the file icon, upload the file, then click Save. Once you're finished adding your content, 
Click Save. Here is how a content page might look. In this video, we learned how to create a course, how to configure it, and how to add modules and content pages. To see more features, watch some of the other videos or visit the Features page on our website.